गुड आफ्टरनून टू एवरी वन गुड आफ्टरनून सर गुड आफ्टरनून so last day already we have started the calculation of entropy changes for reversible and irreversible process last day already we have developed the expression of entropy changes for reversible and irreversible process we have seen that for the reversible process the changes of entropy that is zero for the irreversible process that is greater than zero and from this concept we have developed the uh, spontaneity of the process uh, that means uh, with the help of the value of del s when the del s value is equal to 0 that is uh, equilibrium when the del s value greater than 0 that is the spontaneous process very very important del s greater than 0 spontaneous process so for all spontaneous process we can uh, say that uh, maybe the favorable process also so in that case uh, the del s value will be greater than 0 positive value and when the del s value less than 0 that is the non spontaneous process and i told you that uh, del s less than 0 you see get that del s value is less than 0 generally the uh, it is uh, very difficult to happen the process also okay so these are the values of del s to identify the process is uh, spontaneous or non spontaneous or equilibrium process also so now we will calculate the entropy changes of the ideal gas last year already we have started entropy changes of ideal gas at isothermal process entropy changes of ideal gas uh, at isothermal process so last year uh, just we have started it so entropy changes of ideal gas if we start from the first law of thermodynamics that is dq is equal to du plus dw dq is equal to du plus dw so uh, for determination the expression if we uh, divide t on both side capital t that is temperature on both side so uh, left hand side it will be dq by t equal to du by t plus dw by t again we know that uh, that is reversible process so there is no doubt we can write that dq by t that is ds changes of entropy so changes of entropy ds is equal to du mean uh, again we know that that is uh, nothing but the uh, cv dt that is uh, the cv dt du is equal to cv dt so du by t means cv dt by t plus the dw again that is pdv what then is pdv pdv by t right so i am telling again you can write in your copy otherwise it is difficult to understand so dq by t dividing t on both side we dq by t is equal to du by t plus dw by t or uh, dq by t is equal to ds ds is equal to cv dt by t plus pdv by t okay or ds is equal to now we are writing that cv dt by t and p by t so we know that pv is equal to nrt for one mole of gas rt so p by t means uh, r by v we can write it so we have written here r bv by v now do the integration so integration of ds is equal to integration cv dt by t this is constant cv again r is constant also dv by v so ultimately for uh, step 1 and step 2 t1 to t2 volume v1 to v2 ultimately we will get that delta s is equal to cv ln t2 by t1 plus r ln v2 by v1 that is the common expression for entropy changes of an ideal gas for reversible isothermal reversible process which is del s is equal to changes of entropy is equal to cv ln t2 by t1 plus r ln v2 by v1 okay now at constant volume if the volume is constant that means there is no change of volume so v1 is equal to v2 so we can write that r ln v2 by v1 that will be zero ln 1 is equal to zero delta s is equal to cv ln t2 by t1 plus r ln v2 by v1 so v2 by v1 that is one so ln 1 is equal to zero so now we have constant volume ln is equal to cv ln t2 by t1 
at constant temperature when the temperature is constant so t2 by t1 is equal to 1 ln1 is equal to 0 so del f t is equal to r ln v2 by v1 okay so at constant volume the changes of entropy that will be cv uh, ln t2 by t1 and uh, at constant temperature so del s is equal to r ln v2 by v1 so cv ln t2 by t1 we can convert into cp also because we have the relationship cp minus cv is equal to r so cp is equal to r plus cv in this way ultimately uh, we have got uh, the relationship in the form of cp so i am not showing the uh, details derivation that is not required only that is the expression del s is equal to cp ln t2 to temperature ln t2 by t1 minus r ln p2 by t1 when you are using the cp so the v term also converted into the pressure because that is the specific heat capacity at constant pressure so del s is equal to cp ln t2 by t1 minus r ln p2 by t1 right so same when the uh, pressure will be constant p1 is equal to p2 so that will be zero ln1 is equal to zero so that will be zero so we can write that delta s is equal to cp ln t2 by t1 and when t1 t2 are same so that will be again one so del s is equal to minus r ln p2 by t1 so to remove the negative sign so it will be r ln p1 by p2 so these are two expression again in the terms of the pressure in the terms of the volume last in the last slide already we have shown that what will be the expression for the entropy changes of ideal gas considering this expression we can measure the entropy changes of mixing normally by our physical concept we can say that when one uh, another or extra gas molecule or number of gas molecule will be added with one gas molecule so obviously the entropy will be increased why suppose in a container a particular number of gas molecules are present so when you are adding the another or more number of gas molecule so the collision will be increased you have read also the collision will be increased so when the collision will be increased the kinetic energy will be increased so kinetic energy increase means we can say randomness or disorderness will be increased also right so just same explanation why when temperature is increase the entropy changes will be positive or the entropy will be increased when the temperature is increasing the entropy is increasing also why so same when you are increasing the temperature the kinetic energy will be increased and at the same time the randomness or disorderness will be increased similarly without mathematical calculation we can say that when we are mixing two or more than two gases obviously the number of gas molecules will be increased or the collision will be increased and the entropy changes will be increased but how it will be proved by the mathematical formula through the mathematical expression we can prove that uh, mixing of two ideal gas the entropy changes will be increased or positive so to prove the uh, we can do a one experiment also suppose initially in one container gas a or some gas molecules ideal gas molecules are present which volume is v1 it is connected to with the another container which volume is v2 so v1 or the first container is uh, filled by the first container is filled by the gas molecule a volume is v1 and the second container initially is filled by the gas molecule v sorry b and ideal gas molecule and the volume is v2 now if we open the stop cock so gas molecule a and gas molecule b can move from one container to another container also there will be the mixing so if we show the pictorial presentation see that that is the gas the container initially the gas molecule a present initially the gas molecule b present so that is the stop cock so when it will be open so gas molecule a can go to the b and b will go to the a also so initially the volume of gas molecule a 
what v1 now we can say that the volume will be v1 plus v2 similarly the initially the volume of the gas molecule v is v2 now the volume will be v2 plus v1 so now we can uh, determine that is the isothermal process so there is uh, no changes of temperature so we can write that only delta s is equal to nr ln final volume by the initial volume delta s is equal to nr ln final volume by initial volume just we have derived so final volume for two gases that is same v1 plus v2 final volume for two gases that will be same v1 plus v2 and for gas a the initial volume is v1 for gas b the initial value is v2 right so s1 is equal to n r ln v1 plus v2 by v1 and s2 is equal to n2 r ln v1 plus v2 by v2 that is the entropy changes for gas molecule b that is the entropy changes for gas molecule a so if we add so what will be the total changes the delta mixing is equal to n1 r ln v1 plus v2 by v1 plus n2 r ln v1 plus v2 by v2 right so we are writing that delta s mix is equal to n1 r ln v1 plus v2 by v1 plus n2 r ln v1 plus v2 by v2 so taking the common minus uh, <coughs> so in the next step before taking common so if we uh, multiply n and dividing n so there is no change so we are multiplying by n n mean total number of moles n is equal to n1 plus n2 n is equal to n1 plus n2 total number of moles so we are writing that n multiplying n dividing n so there is no change so n r n1 by n ln d plus n2 by n ln d what is this n1 by n or n2 by n mole by total mole mole by total mole what is this n1 by n1 what is the name of this mole fraction mole fraction mole fraction so mole of mole divided by total mole n1 by n1 plus n2 that is the mole fraction of uh, gas molecule a similarly n2 by n1 plus n2 so that is also mole fraction of b so mole fraction we are assigning x a similarly in the terms of volume v1 by v1 plus v2 v2 by v1 plus v2 that is the mole fraction also so we are writing that minus nr xa whole fraction of a ln xa plus xb ln xb minus nr so xa ln xa plus L x xb ln xb so if we take more than two gases ideal gases so in that case uh, for three gases we are writing xb ln xb plus xc ln xb so in this way that is the common form that will be the common form minus nr summation of xi ln xi that is the mole fraction xi mole fraction and i is equal to 1 to n for n mole of gas so number of <coughs> gases suppose 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 if it is n so we are writing i is equal to 1 to n so that is delta mix is equal to minus nr summation of xi ln xi that is the common form of the mathematical form of the mixed entropy changes or mixing of two ideal gases next what will be the expected value of mole fraction xi the value is less than 1 or greater than 1 what will be the expected value of mole fraction that will be less than 1 or greater than 1 who will give the answer yes. so less than 1 less so than 1 always always the mole fraction value will be less than 1 right always the mole fraction value will be less than 1 so ln fraction that will be negative value ln fractional value less than 1 means fractional value 
so that is the negative value so negative and negative it will be positive so this is positive value it has also positive value so it has only the negative so negative and negative positive so we can say that by the mixing of two or more than two ideal gas so entropy changes will give the positive value entropy changes will give the positive value is it right so when it is showing the positive value so we can say that entropy changes or the entropy will be increased delta s means s2 minus s1 so entropy will be increased so by the mixing of two or more than two ideal gas we can say that the entropy will be increased right so from the important thermodynamical parameter that is s or entropy it is better to say that ds or del f so we know that when that del f value is positive greater than 0 so that is a spontaneous process so another criteria also added so to identify the spontaneous process we have discussed the h value also del h value also as the exothermic reaction or endothermic reaction and after that we have added another criteria to identify that uh, process is spontaneous or non spontaneous that is the del f now another two terms are there just today we will discuss the introduction of that also another two terms are there which will help to identify the process is spontaneous or non spontaneous which are these these are the free energy one is the uh, gibbs free energy another is the uh, helmholtz free energy gibbs free energy and helmholtz free energy so to determine the gibbs free energy and helmholtz free energy first we have started that suppose uh, in a product system so total energy means we are telling that uh, isothermally available energy isothermally unavailable energy suppose when uh, energy can be converted into watt we can say that total energy isothermally available energy available energy for work done isothermally unavailable energy that means when you are giving i told you that when you are giving some amount of energy to the system so to change the entropy some amount of energy will be used that is the unavailable energy for the work done some amount of energy is required to change the entropy so this amount of energy that is the unavailable energy for the work done so we are telling that total energy supplying energy isothermally available energy available energy for work done and plus isothermally unavailable energy so now we are writing that the total amount of heat absorbed by system q q is equal to available energy plus ts ts means that is the uh, uh, that means uh, you know that uh, dq by t is equal to ds so dq is equal to t ds so uh, dq is equal to t ds so we are writing as the ts okay that is the unavailable energy to increase the entropy also. so that is the unavailable energy to increase the entropy because we know i am telling again dq by t is equal to or q by t is equal to s q by t is equal to s so q is equal to t s so this t s that is for the unavailable energy to increase the entropy or to decrease the entropy for changing the entropy okay so now q is equal to available energy plus t s or q minus ts that is the available energy that is the available amount of heat energy that can be converted into the useful work tell me it is clear not so if you have no doubt about this so we can discuss the uh, in uh, later case also because that is very very important uh, to discuss the physical uh, significance of the gibbs free energy physical significance of the helmholtz free energy free energy an available free energy available free energy for the work done so i am telling again so total amount of energy is equal to available energy for work done plus unavailable energy also because i am telling you that some energy will be used uh, to increase or decrease the entropy so that is that ts so q minus ts available energy is equal to q minus ts is available amount of heat energy that can be converted into the useful one okay when heat is absorbed at constant volume that will be qv qv means u also 
and when the heat absorbed at constant pressure that is qp qp is equal to h or enthalpy so now isothermally available energy internal energy at constant volume so for the constant volume q is converted into u internal energy u minus ts and isothermally available energy at constant pressure that is h minus uh, ts so the q also converted into h so it will be h minus ts so u minus ts isothermally isothermally means always we are indicating isothermally that means t is constant isothermally available internal energy is called helmholtz free energy which is assigned as a capital a, a is equal to u minus t and h minus t is isothermally available enthalpy is called gibbs free energy denoted by g g is equal to h minus t right so a is equal to u minus t s and g is equal to h minus t so now we will discuss details about the gibbs free energy so uh, i want to discuss the next day today uh, we have also one uh, important meeting now also so after that uh, just give your attendance and we will discuss details from the gibbs or next day tomorrow tomorrow we have one class or no tomorrow uh, no we have the class on thursday so thursday uh, when i will take the class so we will complete the gibbs free energy and uh, helmholtz free energy i will try to complete the Uh, this part also okay <coughs> now give your attendance